Ontario and Ontario Uncle Ron for the buying local looking out for Ontario Uncle Ron. Hey everybody, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. And today, it will be a uh, day of loops on portables. Now, the only loop I will use is the W6 LVP loop on the portables because it's the one that I can easily tap into for the portables. So, um, I've got actually right now the Toshiba, an old analog Toshiba uh, F11 receiver portable receiver it is on the loop right now so this one it's easy because there's connections on the back as you see here so the loop antenna is plugged the main connector is plugged on the antenna and the shield is plugged in on the ground connector so it is easy for that on this one because i can actually do this so this is a coax that i'm using that is actually plugged into the um power inserter box that we're, uh, we're just going to show you guys here. There's a power inserter box. So the coax is plugged in there. And of course that goes to the W6 LVP loop that uh, I have uh, installed outside, of course. So uh, immediately I've seen a tremendous improvement in reception. Uh, what is also really cool, uh, and that is because I'm using a W6 LVP. This receiver overloads on FM stations on the shortwave spectrum. And of course, even with the telescopic, it's sometimes hard to tune a signal because there's breakthrough of FM stations. But what's interesting in this case is that my W6 LVP loop has an FM uh, filter. It actually attenuates all the FM signals. So the first thing that I noticed is while tuning around, there's no FM breakthrough thanks to that option. Possibly, if I um, when I get my adapters, I will try it with the MLA30. But because the MLA30 does not have these attenuations, I suspect that that would be worse. So at least that's a good point in having these filters of uh, medium wave and of the FM. It uh, prevents a breakthrough. But uh, immediately, it's uh, kind of nice. I see this is a CFRX six zero seven zero. Uh, if I look on uh, CHU, just to give you guys an idea. So this is 3330 CHU. So, of course, today I'll be posting videos of this radio, but not just this radio. I've managed to also take a um, another wire that I have here, and that one will actually plug into the XH data, the RadiWow. We'll be doing several tests of different receivers with the loop. I'll be giving my opinion of uh, are the loops good with portables, because one of the things that we might be scared of is does it overload portables could it be a bad idea on portables and so today is going to be a w6 lvp loop okay but don't worry guys as soon as i get my adapters i'll also be doing it with the um the uh, other loops the um the, the mla 30 loop also and uh, actually i might have an idea also to use the mla 30 even today we'll be checking that out so hope you enjoyed the videos for today will be uh, really, really using uh, different portables with the loops. I'll be using, um, I, I, what I want to do at the loop is use every radio that has an antenna connector. So uh, RadiWow, the uh, XH Data, the Texan, maybe Texan PL680. Um, the, uh, what else did we uh, could use also? The Grandic G5. We'll uh, try that with the loop and hopefully it's going to be uh, interesting to see the performance coming out of that uh, a loop antenna versus a portable receiver if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy the videos for today